All right, in this video here, we'll go over the uh, steps quickly, how to customize your data screens on the Forerunner 405. Uh, depending on how you use your device, you may want to see certain data as you're training, as you're going through the run, instead of looking at it after the run and downloading it. So in order to do that, uh, we go under our settings and go under data fields like that. Now the 405 has by default three screens. Training one will always be shown, and then the other two are optional. Uh, and if you're using the heart rate monitor, the heart rate screen will show. So if you're using a heart rate monitor, you actually get four screens that you can choose from. I just happen to have uh, three that I use. Training one, training two, training three is off, and I have my heart rate monitor. So let's go through. So let's say you pick on training one and you want to customize. So you can go in and you can choose the type of fields that you want. 405 only has up to three fields because of the layout. You can hit enter. You can take a look at what are those fields. So you can see here that each the label that gets highlighted, once you see that, that means you can actually change it. So you hit enter again and from here you can select every uh, any type of field that you have I recommend you checking your mon uh, your manual so that you actually understand what each of these fields do especially for these for example these heart rate fields that you can see there's quite a lot of them and you want to make sure that uh, you understand the pace is another important one that you want to make sure that you get the, the right one that you want so once you select that you can hit enter in this case, I'm happy with what I have. I hit back and hit back again. And then you can go on and so on and so forth for your screens. And just to show you what I have uh, for my heart rate monitor, I simply have, whoops, I simply have heart rate and the heart rate percentage. That's what I'm important. I don't really uh, care about time or pace, mainly because I have advanced workouts set up on the watch. so. When I glance at the watch, I only need to, I'm only concerned about heart rate. But other people, you may want to be concerned more about pace and time and distance. So you'll set your screens up accordingly. Now you have a whole bunch of screens. Now you don't want to be running and tapping your watch every time to f see the right screen. So we want to set up auto scroll. So here we just go under training, we go under workouts, and we find auto scroll. Auto scroll will allow us to view each screen automatically so it'll, it'll scroll from screen to screen every few seconds. Here you can set up the different options uh, off, slow, medium, fast. I found fast is the good setting for me mainly because I do have three screens to go through. You may be the type where you only have the first training screen selected so you probably don't need auto scroll, but if you do have more than one screen, you may want to adjust this so that as you're running, as you're glancing, you're getting the same information and you're not constantly staring at your watch. Other than that, that is how you set up data fields on the Forerunner 405.